everyone, welcome to the Violet May Handmade YouTube channel. This is our May makes and June plans video. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Samantha and we're a mother and daughter from Australia. So May has been a bit of an interesting month for us. We were planning on making the Marie dress from the Simply Sewing magazine. And we were both planning on using a double gauze for the bodice part of it. And so I had started to cut mine out and firstly I pre-washed it and then I wasn't sure how to iron it so that you didn't like iron out the sort of texture of it. And I read a blog that said to just sort of like steam it over the top. So I did that and then I just cut out one piece, the bodice uh, front piece. And it has just grown and misshapen and like that is nothing like what I cut out the pattern piece. Like it's uneven on the side and these bits have grown and I just don't know what's happened to it like yeah I just don't know because I've never worked with this type of fabric before and I don't know it's just really weird <laughs> and I had heard a couple of people after I'd done this said that they'd sort of had the same thing it like growing on them as they were making it so that's not very really good <laughs> um and so I then figured out that I had enough of the rayon that I was planning on using for the skirt to make the whole thing. So I cut the whole thing out of the rayon, the black uh, floral. And I got out my waistband piece and I just looked at it and I thought there is no way that is going around my waist. It only measures 20 inches. Um, and then I checked the instructions, like, are you supposed to cut two of these on the fold? No, you're only supposed to cut one. So then I checked it against my pattern piece and I traced it out wrong and, you know, everything was right. But there is just no way that that <laughs> is going to go around my waist. Well, even the piece for my pattern wouldn't fit around your waist. No, I don't think even the biggest size would fit no. around my waist. So I don't know whether anyone else has made that dress and they've had the same problem. I... I just, I don't really know what to do with it, so I've got all the other pieces cut out, and I've got one waistband piece that is far too small. So, we then canned that idea, <laughs> and we moved on to making a corduroy skirt. So, it is a new look pattern, and I, mine is almost finished, and yours is almost finished, but it's just too big. Yeah, the si we, we looked at the sizing, and... Decided on a larger size because that's what my measurements were, but it's it's just enormous. So now I have to unpick it and start all over again. So because it's like it's not sitting on your waist; it's sitting way down on your hips. Yeah, and, and it's, it is very large. Mm. Yeah, so. even the bottom hem, like that's really big. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So that we'll have to start that one again. <laughs> so that's two fail projects this month <laughs> the only one thing that we did get made up from our plans was our project bag for the dodgy bag mail 23 hosted by claudia of crochet luna and ally of starry eyes ally so do you want to show yours so this is mine i had the pink dotty fabric and then the pretty blue floral fabric down the bottom and then on the inside it's just got the the pink lining. Now my bag is a, actually a dodgy bag because when I cut out the pieces for the lining I accidentally cut one of the dots the wrong way. It's very hard to see but if you look closely you can see they're not running the same way. Normally I would un cut another piece but in the spirit of the dodgy bag now I decided to make it with the dodgy piece. So. That's my bag. And it's just and so then, beautiful. It, it, it's actually come up better than I imagined it would. I really love it. And then I've got the pink ribbon. So you just draw it in. And then you've got the little handles to hold it with. So that's actually using the pattern from um, Whitney Sews. It's her pro drawstring project bag. And she's got a YouTube tutorial that works, tells you how to make it. So, And it, it's a lovely project. It's really nice and easy to make. Caitlin hadn't... Caitlin actually was planning on making a different bag, but we decided in the end to do the same bag. So she hadn't used the pattern before, but she really liked it. Didn't it you? was really, yeah. really good. I liked the way that it was finished. I could know. You know, you didn't have to like bind the edges or anything. Yeah, the only thing actually I do do differently to Whitney is she, when she does her corners, she 
um, keeps them intact and then sews, sews across them. Whereas I actually cut a square out of the bottom and then join it together and sew it. I find it, it, it just works better and it's easier to do. So that's the only change I made to the pattern. I do the same thing. Yeah. I like that as well. And then this is my bag here. And I am just absolutely thrilled with it. So I've got this purple floral cotton here and I've got a handle. And then I've got this gorgeous bright printed um it's a chintz mm. yeah and then i have got the purple on the inside it's a lining and then i've got a white drawstring the only thing that i would change about this next time i make it is it was quite thick sewing through the layers for the top stitching here and i wish that i had done a slightly larger um, stitch length. I just think that would have looked a little bit nicer, but I mean, it's fine. It's okay, but next time I would definitely lengthen that stitch a little bit. I think I would just give a cleaner finish. I think they're both beautiful though. Oh, I just, they're, they're just so striking. I'm really like. looking forward to using it. Mm, me too. So after the debacle of our skirt, my skirt and the Marie dresses, I got out a project that I'd actually started a while ago. It's the Simplicity K8384, and I was making the, the dress there. I had started it quite a while ago and got busy and put it away, and so I thought, well, I'm gonna get it out and finish it, so at least I'll have some finish, uh, one finished project. <laughs> so this is my finished dress. I am so thrilled with it. I think it's come up really nicely. It's just stunning. And it's got the it's got pockets on the side and then the handkerchief hem on the bottom. So I made the top in our last video, which is the same pattern, but just the top version. And I put the elastic in the back of it. I didn't mind it, but I thought, Caitlin had made me one of these dresses previously and she put the little ties in the back. So I thought I would do the same again. But I didn't have enough fabric because I gave the remnants of my fabric to Caitlin to use up and so because I had changed my mind I didn't have enough fabric so I found this plain sort of grey lilac -y colour that I've used so I've put two ties in the back there just to bring it together. It does look nice though, the contrast. Yeah, I think it blends in nice, like it's, you know, it doesn't stand out too much. I think it'll be pretty just having a contrast. So we'll put a photo in of me wearing it, because I've actually only just finished it. Um, now, I had a problem with my buttons. I just could not find any buttons that went with this dress. I went through my whole entire buttons stash. Which is quite extensive. Well, yes, <laughs> I do like buttons. So I came up with a brilliant idea of doing a covered button, which I've never done before. And I didn't have one of the little kits that you use. So I looked up a few tutorials on YouTube and I found how to make them. So what I did was I got a piece of the fabric and I've just used the, the flower section there. And then I had a button, just a normal regular button and a little piece of foam. Obviously it was a bigger piece than that. So I put the foam over the top of my button and then I had cut around a circle and then I put that over the button and you draw it in and you end up with a button. I really, really want to try that. Like I think that your little like fabric remnants, you could just make some cute little buttons that you could use. I agree, like, plain yeah. Or something. So these are my finished buttons here, which I think just look amazing. They blend in really well. And they just, they look like they were meant to be. So I'm really, really happy with them. And I think actually they look better than if I had have chosen a coloured button. So yeah, I'm really excited with those. That whole dress is just beautiful. I love that fabric. Thank you. Yes, it's a really bright, you know, pretty fabric. And so summery. Yes, unfortunately it's winter here at the moment, so I won't get to wear it for a while, but it will be nice when I do. So I also got one dress finished in May. So this is my Simplicity 8909. So I made a mixture of many different versions. So I made View A here, I used those sleeves. I used the length from View B. 
And then I also made the little tie on BC, but I don't actually really like the tie. I think I'll just wear it without the tie. Um, so this is my dress here. So I use a Fitzy floral print cotton. So these are the sleeves. So they've got like a sort of elbow length sleeve and then it's got that gathered uh, sort of like frill on the edge. And then it has raglan sleeves, which I actually really like raglan sleeves. I think that they fit me quite nicely. And then it had a bias bound neckline, which I have never done before. And instead of using uh, bias binding from like made from the same fabric, I decided to just use a pre-made purple bias binding, which I actually think that's quite nice. It's quite bold on the top. So I machine stitch it down like for the first going around. And then I just decided to hand stitch it down on the inside um, to like secure it in. And then on the back, it had a very deep keyhole and you were just supposed to put one button and a piece of elastic just on the top. But that didn't really do anything for me. It just... It was quite gaping. Isn't yeah, it, it was yeah. gaping open. I just didn't like it. So we decided to put four buttons down there instead of just the one. So as you can see, it is quite deep if you only have the one. And so you just put the four buttons and the four elastic and then... I think that that just works better because it just keeps it shut when you're moving around and you're like moving your arms and stuff. I think the buttons look really pretty though. They do because yeah. they match quite nicely with the binding. Mm. It's just a nice feature on the back and an otherwise quite plain sort of simple dress. Well I guess the idea, it, would ha it has to be a big V to be able to get into it without a zip. But yeah. When you're wearing it it's a bit, yeah. Yeah. So that's the sort of length of it, so it's not too long, but it's not too short either. And we will put in a picture of me wearing this. So now moving on to our June plans. So we are hoping that these are going to go a little bit better than our May plans did. So our first plan, we're both making the same thing. And this is the flared sleeve dress, which came with a um, Love Sun magazine. I think that was it, yes. I think, a few yeah. issues ago. So this is the dress here. So I'm going to be making the bodice of view A, but the length of view B and the sleeve type of view B. Um, and then you're going to make view B because you're going to have the V neck and the leg. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to show your fabric? Yeah, well, my fabric is just a plain fabric. So I thought that the lace would actually really look great. That colour is just so beautiful. Yeah, it's sort of a, it's sort of a magenta, I suppose, mm. but I just really loved it. So I'm looking forward to making that. And what colour lace are you thinking? I haven't decided between cream or white. I I think they both look really striking. They did. I I did try both with them, but I'll when, once I get further into the dress, I'll decide mm. which one to use. Yeah. So I'm not putting the lace on mine. So I decided to go for a patterned fabric. And this is a rayon that I got from East Coast Fabrics. So it's got a black base and then it's got like white and teal, gray and pink sort of like dots on them. They're not all circles. They're sort of like pebbles. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's right. And I just love this fabric so much. And I'm so excited to make this dress. I just think that it's going to be beautiful. My other plan for this month is a twist top from McCall's. It's M7975. So I'm going to make the long sleeve. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to make the long sleeve version in the picture here. Caitlin has made one of these before, so she'll be able to help me <laughs> if I run into difficulty. So this is the fabric that I've got. I don't actually know what it is. Do you know what it is? No. <laughs> It's um, sort of a baby pink, but it's a really soft, fluffy fabric on the outside, and then it's just got the knit back on the inside, so it should be really warm and snuggly, I think. Yeah. It's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. So my next plan is quite wintry. I mean to make the Simplicity 1562, which is a dressing gown. So it's a long dressing gown, and it's got... Um, quite a wide like shawl collar around it so I have already cut this out 
And the fabric that I'm using is this gorgeous, um, like, fleece from Spotlight. And it's just got these, like, peach and pink hearts all over it. And I, I cut this out yesterday, and it sheds everywhere. Like, there is white fluff everywhere, all over everything. So I really need to get this sewn up quickly and get all the edges overlocked so it's not shedding over everything. I was shocked at how much like comes off of it. It just seems to be never ending. So I'm excited to get that done because I think it's going to be really warm and snuggly to wear. And um, I really need a new dressing gown, so I'm excited about that. Yeah, it'd be nice. Mm. So the last plans that we have for June are our entries into the So Fruity 23 challenge, which is hosted by Blossom Sandwich on Instagram. The thing that I would like to make is the Simplicity 8602 top, which is just a simple woven top. It's got boss stars, and I'm planning on making uh, view C, which is the shorter length, but I'm not going to do the frill on the sleeve, so it's just going to be like a plain short sleeve uh, little woven top. The fabric that I'm going to use for this is this lovely beige cotton that has uh, these gorgeous little watermelons all over it. So I have a project bag made out of this, but I'm going to make a little top and I think that's going to be really cute for the summer. So we've been watching a few videos by Yarn Mugs recently, which have been so long videos for dresses that she's been making. And they have a keyhole back and she um, bias binds the neckline and then extends the binding out to become ties. I don't think that I'm going to make it a tie. I think that I will put the button and the button loop on, but I'm thinking that I'm going to bind the neckline instead of the facing because I find it very difficult to make it sit nicely uh, the right at the bottom of the keyhole on the back. Mm -hmm. I had that problem too. Yeah. So I think that that will just make it a bit easier. And I'm actually going to try for the first time making the binding out of the same fabric because she sort of showed how to do that and it actually looks quite easy you just like cut strips and then join it at a right angle and trim it and it looks pretty easy who knows how much trouble i can get into but i'm excited about trying that so we went through the, our stash to see what fruity fabrics we had um and i've got this gorgeous lemon fabric here so then i have a, a green heart fabric that I'm going to use as the lining and I'm going to make the same bag as the one I just made so the green will be up the top and the lemon will be down the bottom. I love that combination. I think yeah so it should look really nice. So that is all of the makes and all of the plans that we have to show you. So hopefully we need to get a little bit more done this month than we got done last month. Um, but thank you for watching and we will see you at the start of July. Happy sewing. The hashtag and the um, person running it on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? On the.